So we're starting here in an industrial area um, in a mode called white hot. So white is hot, black is cold. Um, yeah, you can actually see the, uh, the, wa the, the damp gravel there from like, a drainage path, keeping it cool. Interesting. Um, you can tell which buildings are, you know, air conditioned and not. Um, electrical transformers generally, you know, are warm and white. Um, roads stay warm. Uh, you can see the infrared light coming out from recently driven vehicles. Um, that sort of thing. That's actually me right there, and we're about uh, 200 feet up in the air at, th at this time. Um, later I will take it on up to uh, 400, and then you can see what that looks like. Um, residential air over here, we're not really going to be flying over that, but I will give you kind of just like a, a look at what sort of detail you can see. And then we're going to head back over to this kind of mildly wooded area and field that is uh, outside my warehouse. And just a moment here. Oh, there's a dog moving in that backyard. And, uh, okay. There I am again, once again, about um, 200 feet in the air. A little bit more. Um, you can see I'm easily walking, uh, that sort of thing. I'm uh, actually going to walk out into this uh, field and uh, I guess role play the uh, hapless individual who is lost and you can see how easy it is to pick someone up. Uh, out there the grass is about, it's not particularly tall, it's about what, mid-calf. There's res more residential that way. I was hoping we could see like a squirrel or something moving in the woods, but um, they tend to stay away from those train tracks there. Yeah, so actually right now I am behind a little um, cluster of trees. I cannot see the drone from that position, but um, it sees right through that level of cover. And there's an animal in the woods right there. And we're about to take the um, altitude on up here in just a moment. Uh, there's some there's some living things out there. Yep, there we go on up. And that is 400 feet. Um, and I'm actually lying on the ground there. <laughs> you can see my warm controller. Yeah, definitely something moving in the woods there as well. Interesting. I think actually earlier I was a bit higher than... Uh, 200 feet. Um, I can pull the telemetry logs, find out exactly where I was. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a fair distance away, so you can see that you know you have quite a bit of um, range with the 640 um, pixel imager. And um, there's actually a lot of tinkering you can do with the settings within the camera to kind of prioritize recognition um, or identification so you can like you know crank the gain to the point where anything warm just looks like like a beacon yeah, I'm, ru I'm running holding on to my controller but yeah you can crank the gain till anything warm looks like a beacon but at that point you, you can't really see detail in things that are hot so there's a trade-off there yeah, now, uh, in a second, I'm going to try to go behind um, a really bit of uh, thick brush. And we're going to see if I can hide from it. That um, hot spot over there is actually a pail of water. 
that just holds on to its heat for so long. And it's uh, fairly windy out. Uh, I think about um, 8 mile an hour wind um, at this altitude right now. And the video stays pretty stable. You get a little bit of shaking here and there, but uh, all in all, it's um, it's pretty well isolated. Yeah, no, here I go behind the, uh, the bushes. Funny, I, sh I should have hid behind that one right there. Whatever it's made of is less um, transparent to infrared radiation. Because, like, what's over my head right now, you can hardly even see in the thermal. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I hid pretty well. I could send you a picture of that view. I took one then, and I was uh, about as concealed as you can get. Plus, we're at an angle right now, which is kind of a worst-case scenario through, uh, for seeing through obstacles. Yeah. And, the, you know, the deciduous trees that don't have leaves um, don't provide any cover in the slightest. And there we are.